Hello everyone, this is Dr. Alex Vasquez with a very brief review of the role of wheat in chronic inflammation, allergy, and autoimmune disease. By way of a very brief introduction, this slide provides some information about my background as well as some of my books and some of the magazines and journals I've had my articles published in. Here's the case against wheat. Wheat is very nutrient poor. It's very low in vitamins and minerals. Number two, it's very low in phytonutrients such as antioxidant flavonoids and anti-cancer nutrients such as endol-3-carbinol which we find in cruciferous vegetables. Number three, celiac disease, a very severe form of wheat allergy is very common. It's about one in 150 people, obviously more common among patients with uh, systemic complaints. Number four, wheat allergy is very common and commonly overlooked. It causes acne, skin rashes, migraine headaches. Number five, wheat triggers a lot of odd problems such as gluten ataxia and dermatitis or pediformis. These are commonly misdiagnosed as other problems. Number six, even in healthy individuals, when they consume wheat, they form what are called circulating immune complexes, and those are antigen-antibody combinations. These are well known to get deposited into tissues and to trigger clinical syndromes such as vasculitis, nephritis, arthritis, and dermatitis. Number seven, wheat is a very high fermentation grain. It promotes bacterial overgrowth of the small bowel. This is relevant to my work on dysbiosis, fibromyalgia, also irritable bowel syndrome, and restless leg syndrome. Number eight, wheat is inherently pro-inflammatory. The gliadin fraction of wheat actually stimulates a pathway called NF-kappa-B, which promotes the expression of genes associated with chronic inflammation. Thank you for your interest in nutrition and its relationship to chronic inflammation, allergy, and autoimmune disease. For more information, please take a look at my books, Integrative Rheumatology, and my newest book related to migraine headaches and fibromyalgia. Thank you very much.